Today I'm going to show you guys how to replace a idler pulley on a 48 inch zero turn lawnmower. Uh, this particular idler here, the bearings flew out of it and the pulley flew off. So we're going to begin right where we're at. Otherwise I'd show you how to take it off. But we're going to take this bolt loose, get everything fixed, and then put the new one on there, tighten it up, put the belt back on, and then that'll be it. Y'all follow along with us. Okay, you can see all we've done so far is taking off what was left of the uh, inside of the pulley of the bearings. I have a new pulley wheel right here. You can see this is how it is right here. This whole piece right here fell out of the, the pulley. So you got to pay attention. This right here has got to go down when you install it. But if you was to forget, you can pull it on, on a schematic and a diagram and see exactly how it goes. So no big deal. So you got a little bolt, the pulley. That's it. All right, I'm gonna show you guys something right here. Here's the bolt, of course. You can't take it all the way out because it hits the deck and it's in here and it's, it's got a square head which fits in there, which you don't need to take it out because all you need to do is pull it up, mount the new pulley on. If you was to have to take it out, you'd have to take off this idler arm, take the bolts off and pull it all out. But fortunately for us, we don't have to take it out. Okay, so now we're gonna put the pulley on. This longer end goes down. Reach your hand up under here, pull up the bolt where it's all the way in there, and then put it on there like so. Grab your nut. All right, that's it. Not much to it, huh? Next thing we gotta do is get this belt on here, and as you can see, we gotta, we don't have the distance, so the way we're gonna handle that is, I'm gonna give it, I got this little piece of copper pipe. More leverage. And the idea is, you can pry this up with the belt on, see? And we'll see if I can show you guys what's going on. This is the back pulley underneath the engine right here. And you can see the belt right here. We got to take this belt, put it on this pulley like that. And we'll just, it ought to sit there for a minute. Anyway, we'll get back up to the front, pull up the slack, get everything in position, take that pry bar and uh, break that. Uh, idler pulley arm break the pressure on it and then be able to slip the belt on there that's the plan so y'all y'all watch all right <clears throat> all right guys i'm gonna show y'all the process this ratchet here with this extra piece of pipe on here is gonna give me leverage so when i pull this back i notice a new thing here see we'll pull it back far enough to slip this belt but you see this bolt right here it's in the way so I gotta take this bolt out. All it is is a little bolt and a nut. What this does is this little arm to keep this, this belt right here from jumping off the pulley. But it's in the way right now.
All right, that looks pretty good. Okay, so we got to check the back here. The pulley's still on, the belt's on the pulley, which is good. If you look up in there, there's another couple little, there's a silver bar hanging down. That's another little guide uh, protector from the belt jumping out. So the belt's on the inside of that, which is good. Okay, now we're gonna put this little bolt back in and it's threaded into here and then the bolt, I mean the nut on the bottom just keeps it locked into place. So like I said, this is a uh, another little guide basically for the belt won't jump off. If it starts jumping around or if a bearing goes bad again, then it can uh, hold, it, hold it from jumping in there, jumping off. So actually the way this process works you want to get the top of this bolt head higher than the pulley. Once you got it to where you want to get it, the, the distance, <clears throat> go underneath. And what you do is you loosen that bolt, that nut, and it'll tighten on there tight. Once it's tightened like that and you got it where you want, then instead of tightening this bolt, you'll, uh, you act like you're unloosening it. Once you get it on there, you'll see a good little snug out of lock that bottom nut on there tight. So I'm locking it in right now. All right. That's it. All right, the last thing you want to check is make sure your belt's on this pulley right here. And it would, and then you just take your hand, help it around. Everything's on, everything's connected. So we're good on that. Okay, the belts, everything's working properly. So we're fixing to fire this thing up and see if it blows apart. <laughs> we're gonna shut this gate right here, this plate right here, just so when we start it, if something was to go bad, it protects you from something flying off and hitting you like a belt. Okay, that's gonna wrap it up. Not too bad changing out the pulley, the idler pulley. I hope this helps somebody out. This is the model number and serial number off this Gravely. It's a 2017. So they're pretty much all the same. If you, uh, you know, if you had to change out a, a idler pulley or any type of spindle or anything like that, they're all pretty much the same. They just maybe they might be laid out a little different, but the the background's all the same on changing it. So. Hope this helps someone out. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. God bless each and everybody out there. And this is Trent Canell saying so long, everybody, from the Peach State of Georgia.